it would be surprising to hear that we sweep our central business district or downtown uh, uh, every day but one uh, all year, right? So 364 days a year, every day but Christmas, uh, we've got folks uh, uh, overnight uh, in the downtown area uh, sweeping. Uh, we also sweep our major thoroughfares and uh, we make it a kind of a, a principle to sweep probably a full rotation at least once a month. So uh, your street gets sweeped almost once a month. Our city has a pretty rigorous street sweeping program. Our street sweepers are out year round clearing debris, sediment and trash from the streets before they can end up in our storm drains um, where they're mobilized with storm water and then um, directly um, get deposited into the nearest uh, waterway. We have two crews. Each crew has a four man team. We have a supervisor and three sweepers. Uh, we work four 10 hour days. We rotate Tuesday through Thursday. We have actually six sweepers sweeping on Monday and Friday. We have three. So I think there's a bunch of different uh, issues that we see with safety. Uh, you know, vehicular safety in general is always a big concern, uh, especially with large equipment. Uh, for us in particular, our equipment travels a little bit slower, is a little bit bigger, and moves a little bit different, right? So uh, we think about uh, we take up a good portion of the road, especially in residential neighborhoods. Uh, folks uh, often need to pass us in order to get around, and uh, that's not uncommon or um, you know, is okay as long as it's done safely. But I think uh, the issue that we run into pretty often is that uh, sometimes it's not done in the safest manner. Uh, sight distance is always an issue, especially with our large equipment. And uh, you know, our, our vehicles may not travel in the most predictable of manner. So uh, you know, if you're used to traveling around other passenger vehicles, you may not uh, react the same way to our vehicles. And then some of our vehicles also kind of turn and maneuver a little bit differently as well. And that creates an issue because again, this predictability nature uh, allows you to not really know how to handle and drive around them. There is a lot of awareness, especially in, in a machine this big. Um, you gotta, it, there's a lot of blind spots. You kind of have to watch for cars that come around. Uh, we do have some accidents where cars come around and you, you don't really see them until it's too late. Um, there are some instances where people run out in front of you, cars are parked where they shouldn't. Actually one of the main things is uh, traffic. A lot of people, you know, they get, they get impatient a lot and they, they want to go around us. Um, you know, it causes a real bad accident. <laughs> hey, we got a, a dump truck, which I have here that we carry all the debris in and I stay ahead of them. Uh, the ones that dump are pelicans, as we call them, the mechanical sweepers. So they've got hoppers on them that fill up and they dump. The other machines that we have are, are regens and globals. And those, uh, the regens in particular, you have to take those to the transfer station and dump those. What we would like to pass along to these citizens is when we're out sweeping, we're picking up hazards that could puncture tires. There's a lot of things that we're out here doing, cleaning up that could cause damage to vehicles and, and giving us room to get that done each day actually makes it safer for the uh, citizens to drive on our roads. Yeah, so I just want you to be aware that we travel a little bit slower uh, than most traffic, really than all traffic. Uh, and uh, I also want you to be aware that we travel in tandem. So you may not just be passing one if you're trying to pass us, you may be passing two. Uh, also kind of pay attention to the way that we're driving. Uh, give us some space when you do pass. Uh, create some space between you uh, and other oncoming vehicles. And uh, make sure that you're only doing it when it's safe. 